couldn't believe my ears when I heard you might be getting released soon. Because I ain't done nothing, man. But you and I both know you guilty of all sorts of I mean, everybody guilty of something, CO. So, how was it? Clear my head, see what else is out there. Sometimes I feel like, shit, that this is all there is. I'm not sure if this is for me, man. You know what I mean? Eric, everybody, they always asking about you, wondering why you didn't come down. I told them it was because you had to appear you was trying to figure out, so you good. Didn't feel right going down to the beach after all that. It's not like staying here made nothing better, neither. I missed the hell out you, kid. Of course you did. Didn't have nobody to listen to your whiny-ass bullshit. This guy, I don't miss you. I didn't miss you then. Whatever. Fine. Cool. I'm just here. No. Nah. Look. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love power, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like the video and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now, today we're going to be talking about Power Book 3 Raising Kanan Season 2, and we will be talking about the exclusive clips that they dropped last week, so stay tuned for that. But last night was the premiere of Raising Kanan Season 2, and man, I've been hearing that this season going to be straight up fire. This first episode was pretty good from what I've been hearing and I cannot wait to see it. Now I still will be doing the what to expect for these characters, at least the main characters for season two. I believe like a month and a half ago, I dropped the what's next for some of the characters, but we're going to go in more in depth after episode one. That way we can get a better understanding on what these characters are really going to be going through in season two. And I cannot wait to see it. So down below, I want you guys to give me your predictions, your early predictions for Raising Kane in season two. It's about to go down, man. We almost here. The Power Universe is back. It's been a long time coming. You know what I'm saying? We've been waiting since, what, April? Now the Power Universe has returned, and I can't wait for the journey because y'all know once Power starts back up, we're going to get Power, then BOMF is going to get mixed in with it, and then we're going to get Book 2 Ghosts, and then we're going to get Book 4 for Season 2. I mean, it's going to be crazy, y'all. So that break that we got, that's probably going to be the last break until after Force. Hopefully. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, because y'all know how they do. Sometimes they throw in breaks out of nowhere. So as of right now, we are hoping and praying that we don't get no more breaks for a long time. Now, if you're a fan of P-Valley, make sure you check out my P-Valley videos. I've been dropping them all week. We got the P-Valley season two um, season finale airing this week, the same date as Raising Kanan premiere. So it's going to be lit on stars. I know y'all going to be happy. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be two recaps dropping on Sunday. So stay tuned and get ready for that. I will be dropping the final predictions for both of those shows this weekend. So be on the lookout for that. But let's talk about these exclusive clips, these promo clips that they done gave us what last week. Now it's time for your boy to talk about them. Now, of course, the first one is only like 20 seconds. Ain't that long. And it's about Unique. Now, we already knew Unique is going to be getting out. Um, we broke this down when I went over Unique's character months ago, hell, even a year ago. We knew they didn't have enough to pin him down, and we knew eventually he was going to get out. So in this clip, he is talking to the CEO. The CEO pissed off because he's going to be getting out early. That's because they don't really got enough. You know what I'm saying? So he will be getting out. And I will say this. We know Rock, she's going to be plotting and planning to take over everything. When Unique gets released, she does not want him to have anything. So she she will be recruiting Rorel. She will try at least. You guys let me know down below. Do y'all trust Rorel? That dude can't be trusted. You know what I'm saying? She's going to try to recruit him to bring him in. So that way, we, when Unique does come back, he has nothing at all. He has no soldiers. And he's losing a very strong soldier within Rorel, right? So for him to come back to nothing, he's going to be pissed off. And he will be seeking revenge no matter what. Regardless of what happens, he will try to get revenge on Rock. And we know Rock will be dealing with the Mafia, you know, doing business within their territory. That's going to cause issues. So I want to know how your boy Unique is going to come back and work with all of that. All these new things going on, all these different developments going on while he's locked up. When he gets out, he's going to be out there trying to, you know, adjust and adapt to everything. And most likely it's going to be a struggle for him. But I'm expecting Unique to bounce back. And when he does bounce back, it's not going to be pretty for your girl Rock and her organization. Now, in the second clip we got jukebox and we got Kanan. he's returning home we know he was gone he's back he's telling jukebox he missed her now we know at the end of season one Kanan was heading to maryland now i broke down the episode one what to expect video for you guys it was based off the pictures that they put out 
And in one of the pictures we can see Canaan, I believe the lady's name is Deborah. It's supposed to be his auntie. And we see the book, it says Virginia Beach, 1991. So I'm believing Canaan was at Virginia Beach. And in this clip, you know, Jukebox is talking about how she didn't really want to go down there knowing how she was dealing with stuff. So Canaan is back there talking stuff or whatever, catching up with each other. And Canaan, of course, he's like, man, I don't know if I really want to do this. So Canaan's whole persona this season, at least earlier on in the season, will be, I don't know if I really want to do this. You know, I should have picked something else. Well, it's a little bit too late for that, Canaan. You chose this life. It's too late. You know what I'm saying? It's too late. Rock tried to push you another way, but you didn't want to go that way. So now you decided to stick around. You decided to stand up like a man and throw down. Look at this. The brother finally decides to stand up like a man and throw down. Too bad D-Wiz had to die first. We all in this together. I'm telling you right now, Tupac, Bishop, whatever, that's rock. Kanan is Omar Epps. The only way you're going to be able to get out of this, you're going to have to take her out. You're going to have to get the juice. Are you willing to get that juice? Because that's the only way you're getting up out of this. That girl rock said the family's sticking together. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody getting up out of this. We all sticking together. If I go down, we all go down. That's the mentality that I think Rock is going to have in season two. And that boy Lulu, man, I'm telling you, he going to end up like Raheem on uh, Juice. He going to end up like Raheem trying to snatch the gun, trying to do something stupid to Rock. We know Lulu is deep in this music stuff, right? Jessica all in his ear telling him he's better than Rock and this and that. Well, if he slips up and he tries to get out the game and do something stupid, Rock is going to Raheem him. I'm telling you that right now. And the family going to be looking at her and they're going to be like, man, but it was Lulu. And Rock going to be like, I don't give up who it was. Don't nobody supposed to do that shit. Nobody. And if anybody got a problem with it, we can deal with it right now. That's the type of energy Rock going to bring into season two, in my opinion. She going to be on her bishop from Juice. I'm telling y'all that right now. If I go down, we all go down mentality. And this family sticking together. Nah, but Juice was one of my favorite movies, man. I love that movie. And Raising Canaan, it does have elements from Juice in that movie and a lot of other, you know, hits from the 90s. A lot of movies from the 90s, is, uh, you see the elements of those movies inside of Raising Canaan. So I can't wait to see what season two is going to be about. You guys leave your early predictions down below. Y'all let me know exactly what y'all think is going to happen in Raising Canaan season two. What do y'all think about Unique getting out early? And also... What do y'all think about Kanan having second thoughts? I know we talked about this before, but now it's getting serious, man. He's talking to Jukebox about it. This man is really second guessing himself, you know, as far as him being in the game. But as I told y'all, it's a little bit too late for that. But thank you guys for all the love, all the support. And I will catch y'all on the next one. But let me get up on out of here, man. It's your boy Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace.